Hey everybody, it's Nabil coming at you again today. Today I'm here to show you how to quickly and easily upgrade the memory in your Alienware X17 R1 gaming laptop. Check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew these eight screws on the bottom. You're going to need a very small Phillips head screwdriver. I got this kit on Amazon has lots of little tools which are helpful for working on computer stuff. And then you want to pry this off. Now of course when you are taking off the bottom you want to make sure that it is unplugged. And before you get to the RAM, next thing you want to do is unplug the battery. Just slide that right out. And these are the two memory cards that came installed. These are both uh, 8 gigabytes of high density RAM. They only have the chips on one side. We're going to go ahead and replace that with some crucial. 16 gigabytes each, 32 gigabytes total, low density RAM. They've got the chips on both sides of the card. In order to remove the old memory, you just pull out these clips and that allows it to pop up and you slide it on out. Right here is a little divider and you can see there's a notch on there that is off center so you won't be able to put this in the wrong way. You just line up the notch with the little divider there. It goes in at an angle and then you just press it down and the little clips will clip it back in place. And you do the same with the other one. So pull out the little clips, just slide it out again with the notch And it's in at an angle and you just push it down. The clips have it in place and that's it. You're all done. The next step is just to plug the battery back in. Make sure you get that in all the way. And then the bottom goes back on and you're all set. You see all these little notches along here. They all have a spot that correlates on the laptop case. You just have to get those to slide into place. And once they slide in, you start to screw back in and you're all done. Well, that's it. Next time you turn it on, you'll see you've got 32 gigabytes of RAM instead of the 16 that we had before. So I really hope this was helpful for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and please hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications of future videos. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Today I'm here.